Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome, well, I guess Wanderbot's here, and welcome to Chook and Sosig Walk the Plank. Apparently, this is like a, a long-running series already. They've, uh, the, the, only one person made this, and they've already made several, but this is the first one that I know of, and first one that might be on Steam? I'm not entirely sure. I think the last ones were Flash games, because, uh, this is published by Armor Games, and they were kind enough to send a, a long and press copy. Ah, oh, so it has automatic saves. Yeah, it's a point-and-click adventure game with, like, multiple endings and stuff. Ooh. It just looks really charming. Are they both male? Who knows? Who knows what they are? You should have probably read up on them. I'm assuming the I cat's tried. a guy. I don't know. Would a chicken be a lady? They yeah, don't look probably. like a rooster. Right. But it doesn't have the, the stuff coming down. I don't know. But roosters would have far more, uh, what would they refer to that stuff as? I mean, plumage, for one. Plumage, yeah, but they also have that kind of, like, beard stuff beneath their beak, too. Right, right, right. But she is lacking it. Maybe she's... I mean, she also looks like a ghost chicken. Yes, she is. Probably. Okay. So, should I just be her? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so Sig, so you dragged me out of the house for what, exactly? Because you're so busy, Chook. I might enjoy some time at home without you and Cal. You would get bored. You will be having a much nicer time here, haunting the pub with friends. Oh, so you even... Uh, sorry, I'm probably gonna make it a little less deep and a little bit more... Oh, uh, so you even called out... Uh, you even out the numbers for us mortally challenged. These two are my best friends. Juke's a ghost, but that doesn't stop her from doing most things. Ah, uh, yeah, we were right. Cow, on the other hand, is a proud member of the living dead. We never did find out what happened to his body. <laughs> Less maintenance this way. What's this game, anyway? It's a role-playing game. We pretended to be pirates and stuff. Probably a guy. And all, uh, and all the other things in between. I've been sat next to you to keep an eye on you. <laughs> I thought we were friends, Min. The orange one over there is Hebel. He's a small whirlwind of chaotic enthusiasm. He just needs somewhere to direct all that energy currently. Are you doing a running commentary for any spirits out there tonight? Yeah, seem polite to keep them filled in. That's Min, by the way. She's the head of the Psychic Association on the island. The only psychic. Is that Min? Uh, don't know. Because the other guy... That's Min. That's Hebel. Or oh. This is... Is this Min? What is that unicorn? It is a frolicking, prancing derp unicorn. <laughs> this is gonna run like a well-oiled machine. I, I thought that this was the lady, though. Oh, maybe? You wanna... You, you can have it. She's got a rough voice, though. Okay. If I even smell you trying to get dinosaurs involved, Hebel and I will make your time a misery. There's a pirate theme to this game, and it's going to be respected. Last but not least, in the middle of- that's Exley. Oh, Exley yep. is the it's guy. Oh, okay. Another undead, he ru runs the pub here, the cheeky unicorn. Oh wait, so is- oh, Min is the bat. Yeah, Min was the bat. Okay, so it's- Kook is the chicken. Hebel is the fox. Min is the bat. Yeah. It is that is that nice is that it just had, it, it would no. be nice if it just had like a little nameplate next to the dialogue. Okay, we'll so yeah, so you're going to be the DM technically. He huh? keeps Hebel out of trouble and blowing him behind the bar. If I could hire anyone else, I would. You love me. I weatherly weather you like a storm. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What? I'm not even sure how to play. It's really fast. Come talk with our characters when you start. I thought I said it was really easy. Or... Oh, maybe? I don't mm. know. I spend hours writing this, so it's going to be taken seriously. <laughs> I'm going to destroy my voice. Hopefully I don't have to voice act all of them in sequence. Me <laughs> me. Oh, this looks really nice. I could certainly get used to this. Look at that seagull. What's going on? Noodle cat. 
Cape Codnapper. Oh, look, you can already encounter him in the bat. Oh, there we go. Hey, uh. What are you up to? Did you even read the options? No, we're going to go down the list. But you never know if That's there's true. the potential we'll find to out go down with the this list. One. Right. Well, what I'm saying is we should read all the options now first on, before but choosing. But I'm assuming we go through all of them. Meh. Well, not much currently. I'm stuck here. Which means you're stuck here too, by the way. What? How come? My ship is the only way off this island currently. By my character's superstitious nature is getting in the way. That fountain over there, you'll notice it isn't running. There's an old wives' tale that if the fountain is not running, any ship leaving port will sink. See? Hmm. Because it says laters at the bottom. Yeah. What is your character? I'm glad you asked. I am a mighty pirate queen. Nice. I'm rough, tough, and ever so slightly superstitious. I've got my sights set on run. Wait. Rumors. Ru it's rumors? a typer. Oh, it's a typo. Typer. God. <laughs> and you said it I wrong. I typered my own speech. I've got my sights set on rumors of haunted treasure. Or trying to track down the sea goddess. Can I join your crew? Well, it's yes and no, really. What's that mean? You can join my crew if you get to the fountain. Go if you get the fountain going again. A ship can't set sail if the fountain is all dried up. It's just not right. So I just need to get the fountain started. Easy. We can do that. Good. Because I really want to use my ship. You can escape with me if you help my character out. Can I come too? Not a chance. We're going to have to encounter everyone's characters, though. Probably repeatedly. Do you know why the fountain stopped? I suspect Hebel had something to do with it. He sat right next to it. He's got an overactive mouth and overactive limbs. He's our little amber whirlwind. He's a gremlin. That's what he is. Anything he touches breaks or caves in on itself. Sea goddess? Oh, yeah. If you discover her palace, you can get any wish granted. I've heard some have found her palace. I'm going to try and track her down. Imagine having any wish granted. I keep thinking I've decided what I might ask for. Then, boom! I think of something else. Haunted treasure? Some mail has been going out with flyers for haunted treasure attractions. I think the word haunted is deterring a lot of people. Ghosts don't bother me. Me either. Ghost proof? That's us. Laters. Rum barrels. This stuff's extremely volatile. There's a cork firmly sealed it, sealing it up. Uh-oh, you're not going to let it out, are you? Drank. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you need an extra helping set of the uh, helping hands. The skull and crossbones really helps. It really helps you feel at ease with something intended for drinking. Cork is stuck in there real firm and won't come out with the, without some extra help. Unfortunately, I've got weak little hands. That and a very lanky frame, too. He's a noodle cat. <laughs> or she. With oh. no tail. It's a ship in a bottle. I have no idea how they get those ships in there. Such a mystery. Can I actually let you handle uh, both Chuk and Sosig? Sosig? Really? Why? Uh, just because I'm going to destroy my voice doing this. But what voice would I give him? I don't know. I just... All of this narration is already... Like, part of the reason why I wanted you tonight is because my voice is kind of raw. Still, from the other night. Oh, well... Hmm. This is a predicament. You're fine. You only have two female characters currently. This evens it out. Yeah, but how do I sound like a guy? You don't need to sound like guy a cat. guy. Just sound like a whatever. Hmm. I just can't do the constant observations. Because Min is like this, and Chuk is like this. Hmm. Hmm. You sound chipper. What? 
I mean, it's very clear that Sosik is quite chipper. <laughs> it's even got a little captain in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wait. It's a crab. Sail safe, Captain Crab. It's so cute. Meow, meow, meow. See, you just... I don't know. And my voice wasn't any closer to that either. Such a little mighty captain. It looks like a chalk drawing. <laughs> it's a bulletin board for locals to use. It looks like Hebel is hard at work and hustling. Meow, meow. A poster that fortune teller Hebel has put up. He's been hard at work with the crayons. Oh. Oh, he put yeah, his all his crash into this. He's so proud. Again. Oh my god, we can look at everything. This is an actual There's... problem. <laughs> Let's not. Well, look at the mysterious box. Okay. It's a box all covered in stars. With some junk in the bottom. Hey, cow. Hey, check it out. I got a shop. I'm my own boss. <laughs> yeah, you can comment on how it's a nice place. Meow, meow. Nice place. Thanks. I've always wanted a shop. I can just fill it with all the things I like. This guy's my hoarding as a business. So, customer service is like a secret passion of yours? Whoa. Hey now. I never said I wanted customers. I've been learning some techniques for dealing with these unfortunate consequences. My favorite phrase, sorry, that's not for sale. Randomly bursting into tears to make people awkwardly leave. And my very favorite, we are closing in five minutes. Oh, I just love that last one. Gives me chills. I love it. We are closing in five minutes. Oh, yes. Uh, now I feel like Kook and Sosig's. Is it is it Kook? Chook. 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 Now I feel like Chook and Sosig's voices are too close. Hmm. What would a ghost sound like? Well, she's a hen, so matronly. She's a hen. Oh, maybe she'll be dignified. How about that? Sure. I feel like you picked up a lot from Hebel. Hebel taught me everything I know about customer service. Really helps me connect with the character. I'm really getting into the role here. It's really convincing. I'm so proud of you right now. What have you been collecting? I'm trying to make a party favor range from found VHS, ta uh, VHS tape. Using it like streamers and bunting. Have there been a number of spelling errors? Yes, many. Huh. Is this from a foreign studio? Uh, you know, I have no idea. Uh, but it is made by one person, so I would not be surprised if they just didn't proofread it very well. Because, like... When you proofread something on your own, you mentally are less likely to... You are less likely to To find actually, your own mistakes. Yeah, notice your own mistakes compared to other people. Hmm. Festive. What exactly are you selling in here? Junk, mostly. This is a pirate-infested area. Plenty of flotsam just bobbing around. I free home it all. 100% profit. <laughs> well... When I want to sell anything, that is. Catch you later, cow. Later, Sosig. Inventory. Nothing. It's a really happy tiger. Just looking at it makes me pleased. The king of the jungle. I still think we can make something like this. Point-click adventure game, just a bunch of quirky dialogue. It's, it'd be difficult to have things move in an environment and stuff like that. And also, I, for the life of me, I can't figure out how to do cell shading with I'm, really crisp line art. It is my the bane of my existence. 
You don't have to do crisp line art. I can do I can do very sketchy things like, and I can do you, painty things. Well, if but... you notice, like much of the environment is actually painted. The only thing that's cell shaded is the characters. Well, that's because the characters need and to animate. And even him, he's painted. Only a little. Only like the inside the lines, see. Yeah. But the, it's the lines that are the issue. Okay, time to learn Illustrator. Easy peasy. Uh... Lines in Illustrator are like the easiest uh, and the best. No. And I'm not using so nice. a mouse. I, I should use my pen as much as possible. This is a horrible picture. I feel like its eyes follow me around the room. It's a poster for something called Galaxy Princess Dolls. There's a big out-of-stock sticker on it. Ah, That's a pretty nice plant pot. It's got flamingos on it. Let's not look at the g generic stuff. I guess let's look at the fishbowl. Aw, it's a goldfish. It washed up like that. In the bowl? Yeah, I'm trying to find it a proper tank. Or the bowl shape's not good for them. You got a little achievement. What's that for? I hope he remembers me. <laughs> I need to look after my little buddy. It's Cow's Goldfish. That's Clive, my assistant. <laughs> Clive. That's interesting. If you repeatedly press on something after you've had extra dialogue and information acquired from it, then it changes what the response is. Yeah, well, are. many of these things have multiple bits of dialogue attached to them. Mm -hmm. It's just we are going to be here forever talking about, like, that's a happy cat. Oh, it's Juke. Psst. Probably, I don't even know how you do that. Just like, psst. Hey, are you so sick? Come here. Why are you whispering? Shh! Not so loud! We can't ex let Exley hear us. Oh no, what did you do? Okay, so, might have looked at his notes. Just a peek. So scandalous. So, if you want any little hints and tips, come talk to me. Also, if you need just a small amount of help, just give the spacebar a tap, and I'll show you things you can interact with. Juke, stop cheating! It's just so... easy. Oh, because she can flit around and probably look over people's sh shoulders without them noticing or even become invisible? What mm -hmm. do you think? I can see what Exley is writing. All the things that he has planned for you. Careful, little hint. Or he'll notice, though. I'll be careful. I'm always careful. Which begs the question of how she ended up in her ghostly state. This is kind of a fun idea. A pen and, like, a game about a pen and paper game. <laughs> you can't play anything without cheating, can you? Hey, I'm just leaving the option there. It's up to you if you decide to use it or not. I didn't know you were playing, too. I'm sort of playing. I'm a retired pirate. Seeing as I'm retired, I just want to sit right here, watching the world go by, passing judgment on everyone. You decide to play as a ghost, too? I've got a very limited imagination. I like to draw on personal experience. Fair enough. Thanks for letting me know. Shh. Keep it down. Remember, come back and see me for hints and hit the spacebar to see interactive spots. I don't even know what a spacebar is. <laughs> I like that little out of context reference. You know mm -hmm. how in games they always say, press the B button for this yeah, and the C button for that. Wall. And, and uh, yeah, if the character were ever... I met with that as a response, they'd be like, Whoa? Don't worry about it. Someone might. Just looking out through the screen. Hmm. Okay, so what's going on here then? Looks like the only way off this island is with Min. She's superstitious about something though. She won't set sail until things are just right. 
Nice hat. Hey, thanks. Yours is looking pretty sweet too. Ah, thanks. I'm not quite sure about the eye patch though. A bit rugged. Yeah, I think it suggests a violent lifestyle. Oh, don't worry. You aren't that intimidating. Didn't a lot of pirates actually wear an eye patch because they needed to go above and below deck Correct. swiftly? I believe that's the case. So the eye that was under the eye patch, you would flip it up and you'd be able to see below deck without having those momentary adjustments yeah. occurring. Any other way off the island? Not unless you feel like swimming. Yeah. Nah. But not. You'll need to check with Min and see what she's after. Till later, Chuck. Or Chook? Is it Chook or Chook? Chook. chook a -dook. Okay. See ya. It's a skull with a third eye. Pebble seems to be doting on it. Cute, isn't it? Hey, Sosig. Hey, Hebble. Meow, meow. Hey, what are you up to? Fortune telling. Ah, nice. I'm struggling a bit though. It makes it look so easy. It's not really something you can teach, Hebble. Also, he made that character you wrote down that they can do really sick arts and crafts. This character is an artist at heart, just like me. I look forward to seeing this. It's interesting how it has to load every time it switches between the yeah. tabletop world and the, um, well, what's outside of the game. Yeah, I, well, okay. So I believe the previous games that uh, this developer made were all Flash games. Mm -hmm. So I'm not actually, I wouldn't be surprised if to some degree this isn't kind of a new thing for her. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Are you using the crystal ball? I'm not having much luck with that, really. I'm trying a couple of different methods currently. Is the crystal ball switched on? Are you joking? Are there really switches on these things? Not sure. Never use one. Huh. I'll keep at it. I tried dropping it from a great height. I'll just shatter Even it. Even if it doesn't work, I'm sure it'll make me feel better. I'm glad to hear you found something you enjoy. Things impacting with concrete really does feel me, fill me with joy. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm just going down the list until they turn gray. Got the crystal ball going yet? I'm gonna spend a few minutes just licking it. A nice spit sheen might be what it takes. Have you been messing around with the fountain? Yeah, a little bit. Fell in a little earlier. Thought I saw some cash in there. Never seen a fountain without cash in it. <laughs> Actually, has come up with the worst functional fo fictional fountain ever. But did you stop the fountain from running? Huh? No, that wasn't me. Cat did that. Came out of his shop and messed with the panel on the side. Seemed awful, awfully pe pleased with himself. Ah, uh, is he trying to get more business by keeping people here? Is that what the deal is? Cow turned off the fountain. I know. I'm shocked too. You know what annoyed me the most? I didn't see how he got there. I always wonder how he does that. I wonder if it's one of those things which only happens when you aren't looking. Like you doing cleaning. Exactly like that. About this, uh, skull here. Ah, yes. I'm having to go with divination through the powers of the deceased. You mean, you're practicing necromancy? Yep. I'm trying to listen to what it tells me. I got high hopes for our partnership. I just need... It to speak up a little bit more. Later, Sebel. See you around, spaghetti features. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, yep, there's the panel. Oh, so 
There's a dagger, an eye, a bone fish, and a skull. Huh. What in the heck kind of system is this? So do we need to find clues regarding... Oh. It's the fountain. It doesn't seem to be working, though. Okay, so we've got... The skull... The eye is on the skull. It's a little bit unnerving. So, third eye... Third eye, yes. So where's the fish? Well, the fish is in here. But a dead fish, like fish bones. Oh, uh, let's go back and take a look at it a little bit longer. I thought I had it memorized, and then I well, there was a dagger, didn't. the boned fish, the the eye, and the skull. Oh, well, there's the skull and crossbones. Mm -hmm. On the far left. This? No, no, no. On the, like, drawn right over there. Oh, but there's three X's under. Mmm. Mmm. What's at the end of the dock? Okay, wait. There's two skulls. Two skulls in this particular image. But then there's a third skull over there. Okay, if you so count that three skull. skulls. Two swords. Oh, this is the worst. One, we, have five. we ever gone to the end of the dock? Can we try? I... Oh. Yeah, it just switches between the four symbols. I sword... Go fish. Oh. Nope. Can we go to the end of the dock? Wait, what is that? Also, there's next a teapot, a kettle. Oh. It's a little seagull chick. Yeah, it seems pretty comfy in that kettle. I have to get myself a new one due to it settling in there. I think it's gonna fledge soon. Not really sure what it'll do with the kettle once the baby's gone. Oh, I'm sure you can think of something. Mm hmm. So they're cozy and they love them. But yeah, can we go to the edge of the dock? Oh, yeah, yeah. I keep asking. S sorry. I, I was just thinking we should probably go ask Cal why he did what he did. That too. Mm, hitting that load screen is rough. Yeah, the load screen. Oh, uh, no, there is nothing at the edge. Mm, that's disappointing. Yeah, the performance on this in general is kind of rough. It's not too bad. So I don't torch. I don't see any boned fish in here or any yeah, dagger you're symbols. Right. Oh, it's a wall torch. These are always secret switches. Hey, don't touch that. Just one little touch won't hurt it. Ah. Uh. What did I say? Well, I'm really sorry. It just snapped right off. It was fragile. I thought it might open a secret bookcase dungeon. First, it would have to make a. I wait. I would have to make a. Wait. Look, a bookcase. Oh, appear? first it would have to make a bookcase appear. Yeah, because there's no bookcase in the room. Do you want the torch back? Nah, you keep it. Hopefully, you'll feel guilty when you look at it, because this is how my business is doomed to fail. The customers. <laughs> oh, so we now have you have a, a torch, torch now. Why don't we talk with him? Hey, cow! Oh, oh yeah, why don't we ask about the Galaxy there. Princess dolls just for fun? So, about those Galaxy Princess dolls. No, we don't have any in the back. And no, I don't know when we're getting any more in stock. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, it's just all I've been asked about all week. Turns out these dolls are wildly popular. Super rare, and super collectible, and I hate them. We should probably take that poster down. But she's so cute! Do you know anything about the fountain outside? Yeah, I turned it off. Why did you do that? I'm a savvy businessman, so sick. Folk can arrive and no one can leave. Everyone has to buy from me. 
You don't even like customers. That's very true. Although, I'm the only shop. I control the whole market. I can skyrocket all my prices. Then I only have to make one sale a month to stay afloat. Do you think you can turn the fountain back on? I don't like the sound of that. Why? I'd have to work. Be polite. I don't think I can handle that. I'm not sure if it's such a good idea. Why? Mmm. Oh. Wait a minute. What. What would be the thing that would convince him to turn the fountain back on? Think of all the browsing, probably. Because people would be touching his things. Hmm. Think of all the browsing. Just endless browsing and questions. Think of the questions. Do you have this in another color? Can you gift wrap this? Do you have any more in this in the back? That's oh, why this. I got my assistant. Clive handles all the annoying questions. This fish? Yeah, Clive. Mm. I saw a cruise ship arriving. What? No! Oh, yes. And this is such a cute little gift shop. They'll soon descend on this place like seagulls on trash. Picking things up and touching everything. Maybe drop a few things, too. Hey, wait. The beer can't support a cruise ship. You are lying. Min's ship is the biggest thing that it can support. Ah, oh, damn. There's a ton of kids outside. Really grubby hands. And I think they've been eating. What were they eating? Um... Something really messy. Chicken wings? Ooh. Yeah. There's just heaps of super greasy kids outside. I heard them say they just love to handle everything. Licking fingers and just running them over products. They wouldn't do that to my products. Oh, they would. And they will. Unless you give me that code. Fine, fine. Left a note under that flamingo pot plant pot. Thank you. Don't let them in. Hey, you aren't supposed to crumble so easily. Sozik is awfully persuasive. Look at that big daft face. I can't say no. Ah, uh, thanks, cow. Oh, good, buddy. There's a note under the plant pot. Note to self. Oh, another note? You have to get a note from the bottle? Huh. It's outside on the deck. I gotta say, though, art, sty art style and characters are really charming. Mm-hmm. I mean, they look so disparate, though. They don't look like they belong to the same thing. It's almost as though she got character suggestions from a bunch of friends and they all drew them in a different style. Oh, yeah. No, actually, like, he and the fox look similar, but the chicken? Wait, 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 you never went to the bottle. I just wanted to double check. Wonder, the the bottle I has... I see, I, I thought I just knew the answer already, and I was like, can I uh, skip it? There's a note here, too. Oh, does she have the note all along? What? Oh, it looks like Min has the next note. Oh. Hey, uh. Hey, have you seen a note from Cow? I have, actually. He wanted me to hang out the onto this for him. Uh, oh, uh. Wait, the cat picture? The crazy cat picture and his. Oh, laters. <laughs> How many more this of these are we gonna have to circuitous. do? Wait, but there's no butterfly in that. Oh, there's something tucked behind the frame. Ah, there it is. So, no context clues. We just had to follow the... Eye fish skull dagger. Mm-hmm. Dang. I was really hoping it would be based on, like, numbers or something. Mm-hmm. Well, wild goose chase it is. Whee. 
Whoa. It really does He's not like me sprinting. So I fish, fish skull dagger. Nice. Hey ya. Fountain's fixed. Hey, nice. See, I knew you could do it. Let's get on board and get out of here. Wow, cool ship. Hey, thanks. Is this really the whole map, though? Min's character mishandled the map earlier. You'll have to track down a map of the wider area. Min let me hold the map. Look how well that turned out. Pirate maps are delicate things. Pebble doesn't really do delicate. It's those gremlin hands. <laughs>